secured. So ICAO said, I can now read your information on your chip. So every um, um, e-passport is a chip that has the information on there. That's what e-passport is. On the Ghana on the, card as we have it. Now, the Ghana card now has that chip. Remember, that's the e-passport. It's a chip. So if you have our passport today, it does not have the chip. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't qualify as an e-passport. As in the book In the itself. book, does not have a chip. Okay. So once you begin to put that chip in our passport, you now have an e-passport because the chip is the e-passport. Okay. So Ghana, as we stand today, the chip that qualifies as e-passport is in the Ghana card. And not the passport Yeah, because itself. the passport has not reached that level. Okay. So ICAO says, get the chip. Get, the ICAO says, get the chip. Mm -hmm. Okay, as, as okay. Can see so they, this is the chip right here. Okay. So this chip is what is called the e-passport. It's not the document. Mm -hmm. It's not the passport, the book. It's the chip. It's just like a system. Yes, that chip. Yes. Okay. And that chip has to be built by specification. Maybe we'll switch the camera again. Oh. So, okay. okay. Yeah. It has to be built by specification. Mm -hmm. It has to be designed by specification. It has to, you have to write code on it. Then for cyber security reasons, it might be secured so that not everybody can have access to information. And the machine reading it must also know that this card that must also have the, the rights, the, the access mm -hmm. to read it okay. for cyber security reasons. So this chip, when you take it, and then you put it in, uh, in your passport today, then your passport becomes e-passport. You take it out. So the card is a form factor. It just, where do you put your e-passport chip? So Ghana Card Assistant has the e-passport chip embedded in it. Mm -hmm. And on the 9th of February, 2022, ICAO said the chip that we have in our Ghana Card has met the standard for e-passport. Right, so it can you can store information. It they tested, they validated, and say yes, it's true. So that's the process that we went through. That's the process that on we went the through. Ninth of February, whilst yes. we were in Montreal. So that's the e-passport. Now travel document. Okay. Travel documents is defined by the country. The country said at least, and said well, to come to my country, these are the documents that you need. Mm -hmm. Since 2021, 20, yeah, 2021, 2020, COVID. You can no longer come to Ghana without a PCR test, a paper that says you are negative. Mm -hmm. Before you couldn't. That PCR document becomes a travel document. Without that, you cannot come to Ghana. Now you need a travel certificate that shows that you put all your information in there. You now you need your vaccination card. So you can have your passport, you can have your visa without the PCR document, without the, the, the vaccination card, without the travel you cannot certificate, back. you cannot come into Ghana. Mm -hmm. Now, the organization that issues that statement based on policy instruction, the government says now we must require a PCR test, you must require a travel certificate, you must require a vaccination card. The organization that issues that statement out to the airlines, to the airports, to all the agencies around the world is the Ghana Airport Company Limited. And the Ghana Airport Company Limited, as a result of ICAO now agreeing and approving that our card has an e-passport, is e-passport compliant. It's an e-passport, a chip. That's the definition of e-passport. Now they issued out a statement to all these airline companies, all the airports saying that people can now come into Ghana with the Ghana card. Starting when? Starting 1st of March. But already the proactive airports have started accepting the Ghana card to come in. Already.